eight parts of speech and what makes a sentence. This is mainly just review for all of you because I'm sure that you are already familiar with a lot of the material that we're going to go over, but just in case, let's go over it together. So the first thing that we're going to talk about to start our presentation is what makes a sentence. So there are three elements in a sentence. One is a subject. Two is the verb, so what the subject does. And three, a complete sentence needs to be a full thought, a complete thought. If you do not have any one of these, then your sentence is not a complete sentence. So what are the eight parts of speech? First you have noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, conjunction, preposition, and an interjection. So we're going to go over each of these individually. So first, nouns. So what is a noun? A noun is a person, place, thing, or idea, and nouns are the subject of a sentence. So Kylie is a pro golfer. Kylie is the noun. She is the person. The dog, the dog is the noun, love, that is an idea, and the bakery is a place. So a person, place, thing, or idea, which you all should already be familiar with. Types of nouns, you can have a common noun. So a noun that does not have a name or name a specific person, place, or thing, and then a proper noun that does. So you can say just city, and that would be a common noun, but if you said New York City, that is a specific one. So it would be proper. Next we have pronouns. You should be familiar with these already. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. So I, me, my, you, your, he, she, it, us, we, they, them. You can read the rest. Any word like that that replaces, that can replace um, a name or a noun in a sentence. Next, so here is your little test for a pronoun. So if a pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun, so which one of these would be a pronoun? Erin likes to eat. You could say she likes to eat. What is the pronoun in the following sentence? I sing loudly in the shower. The pronoun in that sentence would be I, because you could replace it with Sarah sings loudly in the shower or Bethany sings loudly in the shower. You could replace it with a noun, so therefore, it is I. Next are adjectives. You should already be familiar with adjectives. An adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun. It tells what kind, how many, or which one. So we have green shirt. We have sour limes. And then we have our verb. A uh, verb, is, a verb is something that you can do. It is the action of the sentence. It shows what someone or something is doing. This man is running, painting, reading, singing, dancing. You get it. Adverb. An adverb describes how the action is performed. They tell how much, how often, when, and where something is done. So the fish, the, the that's supposed to be the fish. So forget that. Um, so the fish jumped quickly from the water. So fish would be the subject, jumped, the verb, and then quickly describes how the fish jumped. He jumped quickly. So it is describing the verb. Okay, so the man sat alone. The man is a noun. Sat is the verb, and alone describes how he sat. He sat alone. Adverb. Here's your adverb, sort of little quick check. Um, Aaron ran the 5K quickly. So you want to ask how she did the verb. So how did she run the 5K? And she ran it C quickly. Next we have a conjunction. 